This is the help video for the review, Alex review, unit one, take home practice quiz. Problem number one, example problem, says the perimeter of a rectangular field is 252 meters. The length of the field is 73 meters. What is the width? Best way is to draw a picture here. So when you're dealing with perimeter, it's a walk around concept. So perimeter equals, and then you walk it around. And in this case, the perimeter is 252 meters. Here are your lengths, here are your widths. So I'm going to write out the perimeter equation. Perimeter equals length plus width plus length plus width. Just as if you were to physically walk this around. Then you circle plug chuck. Perimeter, perimeter, 252. And then your length says right here is 73. And your width, you don't know. Collect like terms. Solve. W equals 53. Super easy to check this. You can simply plug it in here and then walk it around and add them up and see if it equals 252. The area, area of a rectangle. So we start by drawing a rectangle. An area is a shading concept. So we shade it. Area equals length times width in this case and we are given here the area of a rectangular painting is 7,790 centimeters squared. The width of the painting is 82 centimeters. What is its length? So circle plug chug area is 7,790. The length we don't know but the width we do know is 82. So we're simply doing, dividing both sides by 82. Let me just show you some shortcuts. Challenge yourself to do this without a calculator, just for mental clarity. We know both of them are divisible by two. So two goes in there three times, then eight times. Here we are, it's just if you can't do that in your head, seven, seven, 90 divided by two. Two goes in there three times, six, one left over, 17, eight, that's 16. One left over again, bring down the nine, Two goes in there nine times. That's 18. And two goes in there five. So we get three, eight, nine, five over 41. Now you can do three, eight, nine, five divided by 41. Doesn't go here, so we're going to try 9. And try 5. So 
So our length here is 95. Problem number two is very similar. Problem three, the length of a rectangle. So it says here the length is three meters longer than the width. Perimeter is 62 meters. 62 meters, find the length and the width. Always draw a picture. So we have a rectangle. And the length of the rectangle, length is, is an equal sign, three feet longer than, that's a plus concept, so that's three plus W, L equals three plus W, and then our widths are here. So we walk it around, we're given our perimeter, perimeter equals 60 two meters, but the perimeter actually equals length plus width plus length plus width. Now you circle plug chug, our perimeter here is going to be 62. The length we're replacing with this plus width plus length plus width. Collect like terms. Solve for your W. And our width equals 18. And our length is three more than that, so our length is 21. Taking a look here, find the area of this figure, knowing that these are meeting at right angles, which means we have what are called composite rectangles. There's three ways you can view this. Either you can view this as two vertical rectangles, so you find the area of one, then the other, and then you add it up. Or you can see them as horizontal rectangles, like this. You find the area of one and then the other, and then you add them up. Or you do what's called a negative space, where I see an outer rectangle, you find the area of this whole thing. Then you find the area of this, what we will call negative space, and you subtract to get the leftover area. That's the method I'm going to use. So here, this outer rectangle is 8 times 8, which is 64. And then this inner empty space rectangle is 3 times 5, 15. And we get 49 yards squared. Simplifying, we start by factoring. I'm going to start with 5 since that ends in 5. And come in here in the corner, 245 divided by 5. You take out the date. This has no date. So it is 7 root 5. Classify as a line, a segment, or a ray. Well, two arrows gives you a line. And you must represent it ML with the two arrows or LM, two arrows. 
This would be a ray, of course. Very important, though, even though the ray faces the left, you always write the notation with the end point, H, and then the arrow point and the symbol goes to the right, even if the original ray goes to the left. This, of course, is a segment. So JK segment or KJ segment. Taking a look here, whenever you do distributing, always make sure you circle and distribute. Circle and distribute. Show your work. Collect like terms. Keep in mind that your x here does not have to be a whole number. Taking a look here, whenever you're dealing with fractions, your first order of business is to get what's called an equivalent expression. We're going to find the lowest common denominator of 4, 3, and 5, which is 60. Then you do what's called arrow in, arrow out. Four goes into 60 15 times. 15 times three, that's gonna be negative 45. Three goes in there 20 times. Five goes in there 12 times. Then you simply solve. Once again, don't expect your variable to necessarily be a whole number.